welcome, I'm Colin Daniel from RiffNinja.com and today we have a really cool riff trick to add to your arsenal of riffs and it's a two series lesson and it's going to be in the key of E major and this was inspired by the beginning to Hey Tonight, the beginning riff, which uh, John Fogarty is uh, a great riff meister and uh, it inspired me to take a look at the E major scale on the B string, so we're gonna use the E drone, and E is a great drone for the key of E major because it's the tonic, right? And the B is the fifth, so the B string uh, is gonna be used for the melody. And E has four sharps in it, F, C, G, and D. And if we're gonna start on the B string and just go through the notes, of course the open B, second fret C sharp, fourth fret D sharp, fifth fret E, seventh fret F sharp, ninth fret G sharp, tenth fret A, twelfth fret B, fourteenth fret C sharp, sixteenth fret D sharp, and then 17th fret for the E octave. And that's the scale I'm going to use. And we've got a little, what I call an E chug loop. It's just an E major chord chugged out, nothing complicated. And you can find that jam track at riffninja.com slash riff tricks. And it's for your benefit, so you can mold and work these ideas that I've given you because uh, I've got a little bit of a, a solo here, a four bar solo that we're going to do at the end in the second lesson. But I want to go over a couple of other things with you. And I also want to just demo this uh, E major. and wanted to mention that uh, you have the opportunity to play them harmonically or melodically. Now harmonic is when you just strike the strings together. Or melodically, when you pick them individually, but let them ring together. And I'm going to devise this solo for both a little bit of melodic and a little bit of harmonic. And we're going to have a little bit of a twist to it. So I'm just going to go over the scale with you, and I'm just going to go up the fretboard. Uh, and I'm just going to do it melodically, but you can do it harmonically too, okay? So that's a little bit of the melodic using the, uh, the scale in E with the E drone. And let's do a little demo of the harmonic too, just for fun. And that's harmonic. Okay, with that information, uh, now I have one more thing to add to this before we dive into our solo. And what I want to add is the scale pattern that relates to this so that we can join it with the scale if we like. And I got one more trick up my sleeve and I'm gonna save that for the next lesson, but I wanna go over this scale with you. We're gonna use C sharp minor, diatonic or pentatonic if you like, uh, because it's the relative minor to E major. And you'll find that here at the ninth fret. And for those of you that haven't been my students in the past, uh, you might not be aware that there's another way to play this 
C sharp minor scale, and I'm probably going to use the uh, position change more so than the pinky stretch, although both are correct. It's for the convenience uh, of getting the notes in the right place, right? So here's your C sharp minor, the position change. And now what I want you to do is I just want you to check out how these ideas here in the E major scale on the B string morph into this scale. And really all you need to be aware of is the uh, second string notes. You'll see here in C sharp minor. That's a G sharp, an A, and a B, right? So now if you were to use them melodically or harmonic, it might sound like this. Now we can go outside of the scale, start to discover the notes that surround it. So the note below it, that's an F sharp. So now I've got F sharp, G sharp, A, B. We can also go to C sharp here. And I just wanted you to be aware of that a little bit. And now I'm just going to have a little jam with it on the track and you can check it out. And you should do the same thing. There you go. Isn't that cool? All right. Make sure you know that scale and make sure that you know the, the scale on the B string and that you're familiar with the C sharp minor scale, which is relative to E major. And you know, I got a really cool course. If you like the way I'm teaching this and you're interested in learning more tricks, come and check it out at riffninja.com slash rifftricks. Thanks for your time. We'll see you in the next lesson.